Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.3, number 65. So we were given this equation, or we could have picked this equation up from the previous exercise, and we're told that the light meter on a camera indicates an EI of negative 2, and the desired exposure time is 16 seconds, and what should the f-stop be? So I'm going to go ahead and plug in EI being negative 2. I'm going to plug in the time being um, 16 seconds, and then they're asking me to solve for the f-stop. So, so I can do that. And that's where you see this equation coming from, right? I've plugged negative 2 in for EI, and I've plugged in 16 for time. Now, personally, I like to write my variable, which is over here on the left side of the equation. That's why you saw me heading over here. And whenever I'm asked to solve a logarithmic equation, right? So let me just write this out. This is a logarithmic equation. And, and the reason it's a logarithmic equation, well, first off, it's an equation because of the equal sign. Ooh, that didn't really pop in that well. It's an equation because of the equal sign. And then it's a logarithmic equation because there's a logarithm in it. But when I have a logarithmic equation, I find it easier, or I find my brain works better if I rewrite this as an exponential equation. So there's going to be three pieces to that exponential equation, and let's see if we can map them. All right, so whatever the base of my logarithm, that's going to be the same base as my exponent. So in this case, I'm going to put a 2 here. All right, and a logarithm is equal to the exponent. So negative 2 has to be the exponent. Ooh, I can barely write that in there. I'll clean that up in just a moment. That has to be the exponent, which leaves the argument over here on the other side of the equal sign. So this is going to turn into f squared over 16. Now when I clean that up a little bit, you see I'm at this level, right? 2 to the negative 2 is equal to f squared over 16. Well, 2 to the negative 2 is the number 1 fourth, because if you remember 2 to the negative 2, that's like saying 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. So that's, ooh, sorry about that. And that's where I'm getting this 1 fourth over here. All right, and that's equal to f squared over 16. And now you can cross multiply, right? And then I'll divide both sides by 4. I'm getting f squared is equal to 4. When I square root that, I get plus or minus 2. But f stops are always given as positive numbers. So we're arriving at f equaling 2. All right, so that's how you do number 65. Thanks so much. Bye.